I have to say, I'm amazed as I do those Mustang Medic memory videos, how many things that were said and what we were concerned about actually came true. We did a road trip only a couple of months after January 20th, 2021, when the Biden administration took over. We went to the border uh, in McAllen, Texas. They are the tip of the spear, the furthest south point of our country going deep into Mexico's northern border. It was bad then, and it's much worse now. As you most likely know, if you don't, you're just not looking. What we've learned recently is even scarier than it's right now. With everyone just saying the border is out of control, what are we going to do? Oh my gosh, we can't do anything, and we're trying to control it. Actually, the border is in control under the democratic rule. It's all part of the plan. We have a report coming out on Monday. It's going to prove what they're all doing with these illegal immigrants coming across the border. It's going to be another attempt to steal the election like they did in 2020. And from what we've learned, it's possible they're actually going to be able to do it again this upcoming election. They can't use the jab. This time, it's been overdone. They're going to use the immigrants that are coming across the border in mass. And it's going to make so much sense why they want Texas to take down their barbed wire fences and not construct any more of the wall that President Trump tried to finish in his term. You will understand why many are coming across when you hear our report coming out on Monday, 6.30 a.m. Mountain Time. If I was in Mexico and I heard what Biden was offering me, I would come with my family to the United States. I would go, especially when the American citizens are paying my expenses for lodging, food, and more. I would do everything in my power to cross illegally into the USA. Here's a clip back in January 20th, 2021, when I was filming those infamous buses going into the Capitol, which I'm somewhat famous for. It's an example of how the mainstream media spins people who are simply seeking the truth. Almost everybody knows me doing these videos. So listen, they make me look like a QAnon supporter to discredit me. Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. The election was stolen. Biden would never become president. Trump would round up the so-called deep state in a reckoning. It was all part of conspiracy theories like QAnon that many Trump supporters bought into. How are you going to feel when, when Biden is inaugurated at noon today? You're going to ask me that. I don't believe, I, it, this sounds so crazy and I recognize how crazy this sounds, but I don't believe Joe Biden is going to be sworn in as president today. We met Trump supporter William Wheating here in Washington early on the morning of the inauguration. He says he's not a QAnon believer, but he does espouse some of its theories. I mean, the martial law thing is the sort of basis conspiracy theory, no? Well, you want to, everybody wants to tag facts as conspiracy theory, so it's just a way of discounting facts. But if he doesn't declare martial law, would that prove to you that it's by this time tomorrow that it was a conspiracy theory? No, if he doesn't declare martial law, then I will feel like my vote no longer counts in the United States, and that's not a good thing. Wheating and many other Trump supporters are living in a world of conspiracy theories. As the reality of Joe Biden's presidency set in, some QAnon forums were filled with people coming to the realization that they had been duped. There are a lot of QAnon followers who feel very uh, angry and disillusioned as they realize they have been misled. But there are also many people who are uh, still doubling down, still trusting the plan, still thinking that something uh, very dramatic is going to happen. I, Joe Biden was just sworn in about 15 minutes ago. So I met you right here. Right here in the dark last night. Last night, it was about 3 a.m. You were out here streaming live on YouTube. Do you feel like you've been duped, that you've been tricked, that you've been fooled in some way here? Actually, no. The way I felt was I, when I saw, you know, I was waiting up until a minute that he said, I, Joe Biden, like when he's right, I'm watching him walk up, I'm thinking to myself, my life's about to completely change because I've been saying I'm either a conspiracy theorist or I'm a prophet, you know, kind of like, it's kind of Christian humor, I'm not a prophet. But um, I was just kind of in shock and I thought and I had to reevaluate everything the way my life was going to be now because it's so it's so different than I, uh, my expectations and i literally was just kind of walking around like what now 
where are QAnon followers going now? I mean, what is next? So some QAnon followers, probably a minority, will uh, give up on QAnon and fall away. Uh, still others will stick to the plan, believe that there's some sort of a uh, great dramatic revolution that's going to happen at any second. Uh, still others will probably be um, recruited into even more dangerous and more uh, uh, militant extremist movements. It's not as if all of this is going away now that Biden is president. No, I'm afraid not. Do you think maybe the way you're wrong about Joe Biden being not sworn in, you might be wrong about the whole election rigging thing? No, I'm convinced the election was a fraud. I only report on what I can prove to be true. I'm not saying there aren't anons that have found things that have been accurate. But for the most part, a lot of things haven't come true since I've been investigating politics when I began reporting on January 6th, 2021, that fateful day. I'm always open-minded to be able to find the truth in any theory. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to dissect it and I'm going to, and I'm going to find out what is true. So I ask you to email me the facts, not opinions. When you post them in the comments and I ask you to prove your opinion so I can report it, I'm excited to receive the information. I look forward to many years of covering the current events. I know that it will be possible with my Lord and Savior guiding me. On the subject of current events, I want to say rock and roll to God's army convoy that's traveling through my current home state of Arizona. And before you ask, why aren't you going? We can't right now at this time because we just are starting posting videos again after two and a half years of being dark, very dark. So the finances aren't allowing me uh, to go. I'm very focused on getting back to DC in July of this year, but like always, I say, man makes plans and God laughs. This is William Weeding reporting. Stay safe out there. I supplied a link to the playlist that covers our trip to McAllen, Texas. Just listen to what the police officer has to say from firsthand experience. It's not opinion. It's amazing. Thank you for watching. Guys, it's absolutely incredible what happened. We had an opportunity to meet a, a member of law enforcement that said it like it is on the border. We're going to have all the facts in a four-part video series on all three of our channels. Get ready because it's absolutely incredible what God is doing on this trip. Can you tell I'm excited? I don't know what to say except God is good. He's, good. He's showing us the truth and we're going to be reporting it to you. The goal of this trip, we're going to make every donation that you gave us. You're going to be glad you did because get ready. This is the truth, and it's coming your way today.